As a part of our continued commitment to quality and your satisfaction, I will be showing you some key safety precautions when working on Brian systems that use inverter technology. The information in this video will help you safely complete your next service call. First, let's understand where the inverter is located, what it looks like, and how it functions. The inverter is located in the unit's electrical control box behind the control box cover. An inverter is a large printed circuit board with many electronic components housed in a black plastic frame with a black protective cover. An inverter, in simple words, converts AC power to DC power back to a simulated AC power to operate an AC motor at different speeds. One of the AC motors that the inverter controls is in the compressor. The inverters also operate and manage other inputs and outputs in the outdoor system like a condenser motor. In this video, we will be concentrating on the component in the inverter called the capacitor. The inverter uses a series of capacitors to store, move, and manage electrical energy. Capacitors store high levels of voltage even after the power is disconnected from the unit, creating a potential electrical shock hazard if not handled correctly. A warning label on the outside of the unit's control box cover and the inverter's plastic cover provides a safety instructions for the proper service. Before taking the control box cover off, disconnect high voltage power supply to the unit. After waiting the required two minutes, the control box cover can be taken off to gain access to the electrical compartment of the unit. Next, use a voltmeter to measure the DC voltage on the DC plus and DC minus terminals. Before any work is to be performed on or near the inverter, the capacitors have to be totally discharged. The DC voltage must be near zero or less than 25 volts DC. Keep in mind that the DC plus and DC minus terminals on the unit you are servicing may be arranged slightly differently than the ones depicted in this video. Following these simple best practices will help you quickly and safely begin the troubleshooting process. Potentially reduce your time on the service call and get the product service correctly the first time. Thanks for watching Tech Tips.